Hello trade pros. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple trick using an options chain that can help tell you where professional traders think a stock, commodity, or a currency is going to be headed in the next several days. This trick is called the market maker trick and it's a very powerful tool to have in your belt. Let's jump right into it. would you like to know a trick by looking at options to tell you exactly where the stock or security you're looking at is going to end or is likely to end within the next X given amount of days, right? How would you like to know what professional traders think is going to happen to the stock in the next, let's say, 11 days? It's very simple. I'll show you how. You just use the options chain. So this is called the market maker trick. Uh, market makers use this at their disposal very often to price options, actually, and price uncertainty. So what you do is you pull up an options chain, all right? Options chain basically means looking at all the different options listed at different prices, all right? And that's the calls and the puts, left side's calls, right side's puts. And you choose a time period. For example, this example will show us in the next 11 days how much volatility or how much movement the price of Apple can have in it based on what market makers think. Check it out. What you do is you take the put options and you add the offer prices. Basically, what would it cost, cost you to buy a put option that's in the money and one that's out of the money? All right. And that basically means wherever the stock price is trading in between these two numbers at the moment. Uh, so you take the first strike price of puts that's in the money and the first strike price that ah, strike price is out of the money and you add them together. All right? And what do you get? You get $4.24. That's okay. I I appreciate you for admitting that. Okay? So, have you ever um done options before? Gaiula, if you don't mind me asking. All right, because this should look, I mean, for the options traders, this should look pretty um, standard. You're looking at strike prices. This is at each price where your options are going to be and what they're trading for. And this is the expiry um, window for that option. So you go 18 days, 25 days. But we're currently looking at options on Apple for 11 days from now. Yes, it's being recorded. All right, so now if you look on the call side, you could see the first price in the money and the first out of the money, add these two together, and you get what? You're going to pay $3.55 an option for at $1.90 for Apple, and then $2.12 at $1.92.50 for Apple. So it's going to cost you $5.67. Now what you do is you simply average those two prices out. So you add 567 plus 524 it gives you 991 and divided by 2 $4.96. What have we just calculated? By June 15th, all right? Sorry, June 11th rather. No, June 15th cuz it's 11 days from now. <laughs> uh, on the expiry, we're going to get a possible move of Apple $5 up or $5 down approximately. This is where the options market is pricing Apple to be in the next 11 days. When you look at financial projections of movement, this model is used very often from an options perspective. All right. So the options market, and remember, you're going to say who, who uh, prices these market makers have very complex computer models to spit out a price of an option. It's not easy. There's no exact formula. There's a lot of variables too many moving pieces, but that's exactly how you get 496. So basically, if we just take it back, you look at an options chain, wherever the market price is, add the two strikes on the puts, add the two strikes on the calls, average that out, and you get the expected move. All right, that's the expected move that the market is telling you. So now you don't have to wonder how far can Apple go. That's how far it could go. This is a 80%. Actually, it's not. It's, technically, if you look at two standard deviations in statistics, it's going to be close to this um, because that's what it would cost you to buy them 
Scott, uh, it would cost you the ask to basically get long the option, right? You're buying at the ask. So you basically want to know how much would it cost for you to get in because the bid subtracts the spread for you. So that's a cool trick. I want you guys to just this takeaway here is worth your admission to this webinar, which is free, obviously, but it's powerful info. So let's look at Apple for a second. I want to show you guys a chart of Apple. Let's look at something familiar. This is the stock chart of Apple as of today. Today they had their Apple conference, so there's a lot of volatility in the stock, um, and prices are a little bit inflated, so keep that in mind. However, you look at Apple shares and they traded today, they closed at 191.83, or that's when they traded when I got the screenshot, and I think it was already closed. So for the rest of this example, we're looking at $191.83. That's what we're going to assume Apple's trading at the moment. So considering Apple's trading at 191.83, by June 15th, by the expiry of this option that we just calculated, where do we think the price is going to be? Well, now we have a way of, of determining that 191.83 or the current market price plus our little market maker trick lands us at a high point of 196.79. All right. And that's not what you think is going to happen. This is what the options market is pricing in. And if expectations change, one thing I want to mention is this calculation is real time. So if something comes out with some kind of news for Apple, these numbers will auto adjust and you have to recalculate. So this isn't a do the math once and never look at it. It's something you have to keep an eye out on. All right. Very powerful. That's exactly right, Leonard. This little tool right here gives you so much depth for your options trading that it's insane. This gives you projections. This gives you strategy direction. It's a – you should have had a light bulb moment here. <laughs> All right. Alternatively, you could do 191.83 minus 4.96. But I didn't want to confuse you guys too much. I want to use one example. We're going to focus on um, writing credit spreads on the call sides. Basically, all we use, we've done is looked at the options and found out a way to project where the price is going to be by that options expiry. Now, if we go back to this option and we look at maybe the June 29th with 25 days worth of time, there's going to be a different calculation. It'll be higher than $4.96 because there's more time right? 25 days instead of 11. And that means that there's more opportunity for a move to happen. Now that we got this little trick in our back pocket, now I'm going to show you how to start writing credit spreads like a professional trader. All right, trade pros. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the market maker trick and you could apply this to your options trading, whether you're doing credit spreads, debit spreads, or just flat out straight calls and puts. This is a very good trick to help you decide direction and the magnitude of where that direction is going to be going. If you guys have any questions, please pop them in the comment box below and I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you want to learn about next? And we'll create some awesome content to answer your questions. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next video. Take care and have yourselves a great day. Goodbye.